after study of all these properties einstein made an equation he says that the light which is coming has certain frequency and the photons which we are discussing the photons have got frequency each one photon strike an electron and gives it energy to electron how much energy is given by a photon to electron it depends upon the frequency of the photon if frequency of the photon in nu then energy given energy imparted to electron is equal to h nu this is the energy imparted to any electron given by a light which has frequency nu okay then energy used as work function is equal to is equal to h nu not then what happens to the rest of energy rest of energy with ejected electron now electron has come out and it has that energy it has that energy in which form answer kinetic energy form so rest of energy when ejected raw is kinetic energy therefore kinetic energy of photo electron is equal to h nu minus work function or this leads to kinetic energy is equal to h nu h nu minus h nu not this kinetic energy is half mv square and this is equal to h nu minus nu not nu not is threshold frequency for that particular metal and nu is the frequency of the incident light and that gives the kinetic energy to the electron this calculation was given by einstein so this is known as einstein's formula for kinetic energy if we want then we can convert it into wavelength so our formula will be half mv square for electron is equal to photo electron is equal to h and nu is equal to c upon lambda so we can write it h c 1 upon lambda minus 1 upon lambda not what is lambda not same thing threshold wavelength this is the wavelength which is supplied so this is einstein's equation this is einstein's equation this is einstein equation all are one and the same the derivations so this is energy kinetic energy of this electron and this kinetic energy is the maximum kinetic energy kinetic energy may be less than this but not more than this in einstein equation we have seen one thing that kinetic energy is equal to this but for kinetic energy we have already established one formula which is related to stopping potential and that was kinetic energy is equal to e into v not where kinetic energy is equal to i will write here kinetic energy of ejected electron is equal to e into v not this is we have already established okay i will once again make it clear when it comes from here without any voltage it has a kinetic energy and with that it goes here makes the current 
if I apply stopping potential negative then it stops why it stops because under the effect of minus V naught here it has a potential energy equal to minus EV naught and it has a kinetic energy but now it is has stopped moving that means this total energy has become equal to zero and if this total of energy is zero then how much is kinetic energy kinetic energy is equal to EV naught so this V naught is measurement of kinetic energy E into charge into potential that is the energy okay so this kinetic energy we write this expression E V naught so this we get E V naught is equal to half M V square is equal to H nu minus nu naught nu minus nu naught this place C this formula and this is the overall formula relating all the quantities what is this V naught this is stopping potential E charge on the electron V naught stopping potential half mv square this is the velocity with which electron runs maximum velocity H Planck's constant new light which has been applied new naught thermal sorry new naught is uh, that uh, threshold frequency for that particular metal of which A is made so with all these quantities this is a general formula and with this we can calculate any one quantity if other quantities are given to us so this is relation of all these quantities together and this is our final equation for photoelectric effect now after this we will study that uh, in this we are discussing that light comes as photon but it has frequency this I have used many times now with this seeing all the properties of light we have decided we have come to certain properties of the photon and in the next lecture we will see that seeing all through what is the concept of the photon what are the properties of the photon and how we look at it so that it puts up all the condition and after that we will see that how this experiment could not be explained by wave theory and how this has proved that wave theory is wrong. So, wait for the next lecture. Thank you.